Welcome to the Now, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm John Reisinger. What would you do if we all only had a few weeks to live? Disneyland. That's a good one. Uh, how would your friends and family act? How would the rest of the world act? These are some pretty big questions, right? Really heavy stuff. Yeah, everyone would probably keep their cool and act fine. Really, <laughs> that's how this would all, we'd, we'd all go down and like tick yeah. stuff off our bucket list, like hug a stranger. Just make some tea. That's what everyone's bucket list is, right? Um, we've actually been interested in this question for a while. The as, end, as humans, that yeah, is. Yeah, just everybody in Hollywood. Uh, the End of the World has been a popular subject of movies ranging from The Road to Melancholia to So, all... those not so positive, great. Yeah, The Road isn't, um... Not so bright happy? No! Not, it's not a cup of tea is what we're getting at. It's sadness distilled. <laughs> um, Melancholia is about that way too. Um, to all the, the asteroid movies of the 90s. Um, all of them. Yeah. What was better, Armageddon or Deep Impact? Armageddon. But Deep Impact has Elijah Wood. That's alone makes it better. Um, <laughs> hey, but nobody knows how we would actually react to our imminent demise. Hey, until now. And apparently we have it all. A uh, cup of tea. A group of MMO players have given us some really interesting data though about how people would actually act during the apocalypse. And it turns out people behave in some pretty surprising ways when their world is about to come to a crashing halt. Yep, you heard that right. It's all thanks to an MMO. For science! Yeah, turns out they're not just for raiding and wasting massive amounts of time, including my time, because I'm still playing Warcraft right now. Wow, you're nuts. Yep! The MMO in question is Arc Age, a PC MMO that was developed by Excel Games out of South Korea. PC Gamer reported that to determine how people would act during the end of the world, researchers analyzed the actions of more than 80,000 players during the game's fourth closed beta that ended in early 2012. So, yeah, this. This, all this information is coming out a little bit late. Yep. Uh, why would they research a closed beta? Well, because after a beta ends, developers basically wipe all players' progress and reset the game in preparation for the start of the public version of the game. Therefore, the beta version of the game basically is hit by a world-ending event. An apocalypse, if yeah. you will. And so researchers thought, hey, this is a perfect opportunity to study how people would act during the apocalypse. Now, the researchers came from an international group of universities and research organizations, including the University of Buffalo, Telefonica Research, and Korea University. Their goal was to use an MMO to study what sort of behaviors would we see in people if they knew the world was only going to be around for a limited amount of time? As they put it in their study, for example, how does an individual behave if his, her behavior will have no lasting outcomes or penalties? Do we continue to follow the compass that has led us through life or do we abandon our morals, ideals, and social norms in the face of oblivion? I would assume the latter. Yep. And while the end of a closed beta is obviously not the same as Earth being destroyed, the scales are a little bit different, mm. so are the stakes, mm -hmm. so are the number of real lives that are mm -hmm. gonna be ended. The researchers say there are parallels to be drawn in how people react to the event. That's thanks to a concept called the mapping principle, a concept which states that player behavior in online games is actually pretty similar to how people act in the real world. As they wrote, thus, while not a perfect mapping, we believe that the end of the closed beta test is a relatively good approximation of an end time scenario. And thus, the present work is not only useful for the understanding of players' behavior, but can also begin to shed light on human behavior in general under such conditions. All right, so how did people act? Did everyone go on a killing spree, free from the constraints of morality? Did they finish a few final quests just for completion's sake? Actually, not really. There were definitely some players who went on rampages against their fellow humans, but the study found that those people, for the most part, were outliers. All right, so what did they do instead? Have lots of video game sex? Maybe? Eh? Actually, well, no. The study found something a little strange. They talked to each other more. No, that's wrong. Um, as the end of the game drew closer and closer, players tended to give up on things like questing and character leveling, basically all progress-related activities, which makes sense. After all, who cares if your character is a level 30 or a 31 when the end of the world hits? Right. Instead, they focus much more on interacting with other players, and those chats tended to be more and more positive as the end of the world drew closer. The study's authors wrote, overall players increase social interaction with others. They exchange more in-game messages, mails, and create more parties to enjoy group play or complete high-level quests. Of course, there are outliers, there always will be. There's the players who are any social in the game. They were more likely to drop out before the end. Those players also tended to kill other players. Maybe not surprising. 
But for the most part, people exhibited more and more social behavior, which the researchers said might help us get a little more insight into human behavior as well as game design. Researchers said that they even saw existing relationships getting stronger as the end approached. They wrote in their conclusion, we saw the players that stayed until the end of the world exhibited peaks in the numbers of small temporary groupings. New social relationships are being formed. Which is oddly kind of life affirming if you think about it. Well, you mean it means that we're basically not all pieces of shit. Like we actually care about each other and about our relationships with people and that's what's important. Nah, data's wrong. Weird. Uh, we've known for a long time that humans are basically social creatures that want to interact with other people. And this study shows that in a video game, at least when the end of the world is approaching, the main thing we want to do is seek solace in our fellow man, which in these uh, divisive times is a, is a nice little thought. Yeah, all right, what do you guys think of this study about the end of the world? What would you do if you knew the planet only had a couple of days to live? Let us know in the comments. It's, it's, it tell us your apocalypse plan so we can steal it. <laughs> yeah, and for all your video game and apocalypse news, if it happens, we'll tell you. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the know. My, uh, so my first MMO was EverQuest. Yeah. And uh, like my very first day playing, I made a bestie. And then like six months in, after I had been playing with her every day after school, and I'd like told her all my secrets because she was my bestie. Yeah. She confessed that she was not a she. Oh, oh no. <laughs> like broke my heart.